So um, I did a post the other day and so many people, even though I've been taking ice baths for many years now and explained the benefits, so many people said, why on earth do you do that? So today I'm gonna tell you exactly why I take ice baths every single day when I'm at home. Okay, we are in. Usually I'd have both of my hands submerged, but obviously I'm trying to hold the camera. I should have broken some of the ice behind me because I can't lean back. Shit. Anyway, we're in here now. So, there's several benefits. I'll go through the mind benefits first. So, you can improve your neurotransmitters. You can improve focus by boosting your neurotransmitters in your brain. You can also help repair the blood-brain barrier, BBB, through nitric oxide production, helps secrete nitric oxide. Further from that, um, I really like the mental stability that I get from this. This tones your vagal nerve if you can submerge down far enough, which I'm usually down to my neck if you see my stories or anything like that, because in doing so, you submerge your vagal nerve, you're able to tone it, that's what puts you in that fight or flight response. So it gives you so much more mental stability for the rest of the day. Also, sometimes you'll see that I wear a blood sugar monitor, and in when I, when I have that and I look at the response, it gives me much more stability with my blood sugars throughout the day if I do the ice bath versus if I don't do the ice bath, okay? So that's a major benefit. Really helps with inflammation as well. And weirdly enough, it does help with blood circulation, especially to your extremities, your hands, your feet, etc., because all your blood pulls to the core to try to protect your internal organs and then when you get out it rushes to your extremities so it really does help promote blood circulation as well and number one the main reason why i really like to do this is because it makes you harder to fucking kill harder to kill because we try to run away from resilience we try to run towards comfort we don't like discomfort we want comfort that's what makes us soft like do you think that i weight train the way that i do because i like it do you think that I do Ironman triathlon or ultra marathon because I like it? No, I like the steps, not the success. Okay, the success is great, but it's the journey in getting there, being acknowledging that it is conditioning your resolve and making you harder to kill to have a transcendence effect onto other areas of your life where you may be doing things that you don't wanna do. There's a lot of times that you're gonna be uncomfortable and it's not gonna be your choice. So how are you gonna prepare for it? This is how you prepare. Hopefully that has given you some information on ice baths. I do about three minutes. I'm up to about five minutes now or close to it. Um, and I usually do one minute in the evening sometimes if I have the time. I don't like to go too long in the evening because I find it too hard for myself to warm up and defrost. So, uh, and I try to do this every day and it helps mobilize fatty acids as well. You wanna mobilize fatty acids, have caffeine. So have some caged organic pure calf in the morning. You could have about 100 to 200 milligrams, help mobilize fatty acids, and then jump in here and you are good to go. You wanna stay lean, this is it. So if you like this video, guys, please do like, comment, subscribe. But if you've got any more questions about ice baths or cold thermogenesis, let me know and maybe next time we'll do a video on hot thermogenesis, which is my sauna right there and why I do that daily as well. But I always finish with cold. My name is Chris Gerthin. Like, comment, subscribe. Maybe share this with somebody who needs to be harder to kill.